available now. See, and here are the consoles and all of the cores that RetroArch uh, would have had. And now, before anyone asks, you cannot play like PS2 or, you know, certain, you know, cores that require GL because this thing doesn't uh, feature angle support. Maybe someday it will. Sooner or later, I have no idea. I'm not a developer, but <laughs> these are all the systems that uh, it supports currently. This, uh, this is version 3. Um, it's always being worked on, so who knows what um, can be added in the future. But for now, this is what it is, and uh, it plays everything that you would want it to. Okay, before you know, we go crazy. Um, I'm going to go down to Nystopia. Press A. Now, under here, you're going to find information, what formats it supports. Uh, you got the test core, import files, folder, game folder, and you can even update uh, cores from here. If I click this, uh, it says it's up to date. Okay, so... I'm going to go up to games. I'm going to go down. Press A. Now, I have my external hard drive hooked up, so I'm going to go down to USB. I'm going to go to where I have my NES games, right here, and press A on it. Then what you want to do is hit back button, or the two squares, and go to select, and hit A. What it'll do is it'll generate all the uh, ROMs for NES. Now, all my ROMs are zipped, which is fine. Uh, then you just go to it. You go to play or get info, whatever you want to do. Do you want to start Batman? Native Archive is not supported by this core. Retrix Gold will extract the content to a temporary folder and resolve the links. Go to yes. Bio files are required. Uh, not for NES, it's not. Go to ignore. <laughs> Depending on the core, it matters, but for here, no, nah, you just play the game. Okay. Oh. Now, to bring up the menu, press right thumbstick in, and then you have all these features. You can quick save, quick load, stop the emulation, pause emulation, close this menu, fast forward, saves list, course, uh, core options, mouse, gamepad, turn on frame rates. Uh, well, you can read this. I don't need to read every little thing. There's thousands of things in here. <laughs> but you get the idea. So it's like RetroArch, just like in a different um, UI. So, I mean, yeah, it's not better. So if you're looking for, like, a reason to get this over RetroArch, there really isn't. It just all comes down to preference. But um, if you go under Gamepad, for example, you can change the A and B buttons and X and Y and Start button and all of that like you normally would. Ports. This is how you enable different game pads. You can turn on mouse support. I don't know if that works on Xbox. Core options. Has your filters and different things like that. Alright. Well, I think that's everything I want to show in the video. You're just going to have to explore it yourself to see what kind of features... Um, it has and different things and uh, like I said the developer is on our discord um, I think his name is Basharast I'm sorry if that's wrong but I'm I'm trying to think of his name off the uh, top of my head so if that's wrong I'm sorry but uh, the developer is in our discord and actually helping people and different things so if you need help or you need to find something or you could ask me but he knows more about it since it's his so if you want to uh, ask him some questions, go ahead. And uh, if you need help setting up uh, BIOS, just press A on BIOS. And you can go to Find, and it'll do it for you. Or you can go to Select. 
Now I'm going to go over here, well, press back button. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to, man, I, I hate File Explorer on, P, or on Xbox. PC Backup, BIOS RetroArch, uh, and I'm going to go down to Disk Sys and press A on it. And there you go. I imported the BIOS. I don't think I have NST. We'll see. Do I have NST? Now, of course, you do this to all uh, BIOS and everything. All systems. Oh, I do. Look at that. Doesn't match the requested BIOS. Weird. Well, it's there, so I don't know. For NES, you don't need that. It's mostly for, uh, usually Famicom Disk System is really all you need, so I don't know why this says this is required, because clearly I played the NES game without it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to set up every NES core. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. You go to Quickness, for example. Uh, no. No, it knows. Never mind. I didn't know that. But it's different. It's all it's all different, and it tells you what it supports and everything else. So remember, when you go to you know one of these Game Boys, you have to set it up. It doesn't know where your games are, obviously, and these are the formats it supports. Uh, your ROMs can be zipped. Uh, it just puts in a temporary folder, just like RetroArch. Um, there's no box art if you're going to ask if there's box art for games. There's none currently. It could change in the future, but for now, it's just system icons like this and uh, it tells you what the cores are. And I don't know if certain features are working. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I'm assuming they do. <laughs> and you can like update uh, cores and stuff from here. I don't know if it works or not. You game folder, import folder and files. And you go down to more and press A on it. You can see more stuff like an offline update, your saves, system folder, pinned, privacy, all that. But anyways, <laughs> this video has been very long as is. So if you guys want to check it out, it's on Gamers Ret Retail Store and uh, the link will be in the description if you need help finding it and uh, enjoy emulation, I guess. And I'll see you in the next time. Peace.